everybody, welcome back to Golden Dragon Games. I'm your host, Rocky2815, but please just call me Rocky. Today I will be reporting on new news being NX not being shown at E3 and Zelda Wii U delayed once again. So sit back, relax, get a cup of tea, get a cup of coffee, and let's start the show. Hello everybody. Now, we are going to go straight into our first piece of news today from Nintendo. So, what is our first piece of news? At E3 this year, they will be bringing along Zelda Wii U, which will be the only playable game at E3. I really don't know what Nintendo is thinking about just bringing one game that's going to be playable. Like, I was expecting more, but never mind, never mind. We don't actually even know Nintendo's other plans for E3. Apart from, they're not going to be showing the Nintendo NX console like so many people thought. So yeah. But we do have an official release month and year for the Nintendo NX console being Mar the end of March 2017. So yes, that is when it's going to be released. Now, some more news about Zelda Wii U. Apart from being the only playable game at E3, I think Nintendo are going to release more news about Zelda Wii U, like, I don't know, its name, hopefully. We'll have to wait and see. They've been quite secretive about Zelda Wii U, really. Only about two or three very short gameplay trailers, and that's about it. But some bad news about Zelda Wii U. It's been delayed once again until 2017. There are two reasons. One of the reasons is in to improve the quality once again, which I believe was the original reason why it was delayed till this year, 2016. But yes, that's one of the reasons. The other reason is it turns out that one particular rumour that has been around since I would say the beginning of this year turns out to be true actually as well as having the new Zelda game on the Wii U we are also going to be having it on the Nintendo NX so that is correct we have two different versions being Zelda Wii U and Zelda NX and they will be releasing both at the same time next year I'm not sure when next year I would guess around the same time, or possibly on the same day, as the actual NX console. So then that wouldn't be such a long wait, so hopefully they won't delay it any longer than that sort of time period. I don't mind it being delayed, as they have their two reasons, and, you know, we're just going to have to deal with Zelda Wii U will not be coming out this year. On the other hand, I do wish Zelda Wii U would come out this year and then they release the NX version of the game next year around the same time as the NX console. I think that would possibly be a better thing to do, but that's my own personal opinion. So yes, um, that's real, the news I got for you, apart from we have got new concept art for Link from Zelda Wii U slash Zelda NX. I will just quickly bring it up on my iPad and then I'll bring it up to the left of me over here. Okay. Here is the new concept art for Link for Zelda Wii U slash Zelda NX. And my golden goddess, he looks so cool and amazing. I love this concept art, honestly. So much detail, but also, if we zoom in to his belt, we get to see a better look at the mysterious book he was carrying in the trailers. Now, I believe in the original trailers, the book was actually brown, but here it looks like it's black with sort of fiery red symbols and the symbol of the shikai symbol which is what is on the front of the book is slightly covered up by 
the hero's bow he's got, which actually looks like the hero's bow from Twilight Princess, actually, to me. So, that makes me wonder. Will it be a prequel or some sort of sequel to Twilight Princess? Who knows? We're going to just have to wait and see. But anyway, like I was talking about, the book with the cheek eye symbol. Now, there have been many talks and theories about what this book will do and how it will help you and what it is. But to me, I'm really not sure what it's going to do. Like, it could translate languages and stuff for we know like ancient lost languages or something like that it could be a method to you know teleport to place to place or something like that but also it could be something to do with storyline of Zelda Wii U which would be quite interesting I personally like to see more Sheikah tribe members you know to be in future Zelda games and hopefully Zelda Wii U because the only Sheikah Tribe member we have officially seen is Impa. Well, there's also Sheik from Ocarina of Time, but uh, sorry, this is going to be a spoiler alert, so you might want to skip a couple of minutes ahead if you don't want spoilers for Ocarina of Time. But Sheik being Zelda, you know, she was trained to be a Sheikah, but... Does that mean she is actually a part of the Sheikah? I don't know. Would you classify as Zelda being part of the Sheikah? I don't know. Tell me in the comment section down below if you think Princess Zelda from Ocarina of Time would be classified as a Sheikah tribe member as Impa obviously taught her all her skills. So, you know, that's why Princess Zelda as Sheik in Ocarina Time is able to mysteriously disappear without Link seeing in, you know, all the cutscenes and all that. But, anyway, I'm going to be off track. So, the book. See the little blue sort of gem thing in the middle centre of the eye? I believe that that is actually a time shift stone, like we see in Skyward Sword. So, I do believe that time travel will be also somehow implemented into the story as well as possibly the Sheikah. So yeah, but this artwork, it's so fantastic and I could not actually wait to see more concept artwork and also I, I really do wonder what the story is going to be but my personal thoughts are one, it's going to involve time travel, two, it's going to involve the Sheikah and free, it's either going to be yeah, placed in the child timeline, either before Twilight Princess, so just after Majora's Mask, or just after Twilight Princess, one of the two, with a couple of maybe hundreds of years gap in between. You know, something like that. But yes, I believe it's going to be either sort of like a sequel slash prequel to Twilight Princess. But those are all my thoughts. That's all the news. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. And until next time, remember to leave a like, favourite, share, subscribe. And until the next video, stay golden, stay frosty, and bye -bye.